fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'll Silver. Handbills have been distributed in almost every town and tacked on trees and fence posts throughout the cattle country to announce the fact the Cimarron Kid was wanted by the law for countless cattle robberies. The Kid was said to be the boldest, the most elusive cattle thief in the entire Southwest. Head him straight up the canyon, right? Tom Kent was the latest victim of the Cimarron Kid and his gang. A number of Kent's heavy steers were driven through a cut wire fence and into a canyon. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was an easy job, eh, kid? Kent didn't even have a line rider to interfere with us. <laughs> It'll teach Kent a lesson. After this, maybe he'll hire more cow hands. Yeah. You taking the steers up north? Not yet. Some other ranches in this vicinity with plenty of livestock. Yeah. We'll build up a sizable herd before we head north. Yeah. Tom Kent was a neighbor of Clarabelle Hornblow. Clarabelle and her top hand, Thunder Martin, had long been friends of the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Thunder! Thunder Martin, where you at? I got bacon to do and I need firewood. And when you get done with that wood pile, I want you to lend Josh Simmons a hand. And hurry, he's in the house waiting. Uh, Josh Simmons? You mean I gotta help that sod buster? He needs a strong man to drive some fence uh, poles. See, driving fence poles for a nester? Why, Dad ratted Clarabelle for a cattleman? That's downright undignified. And that'll do, Thunder. Josh wants to fix up his farm. Farm? His country's getting cluttered up with nesters. I like Simmons and his daughter Susan. Ah, oh, but Clarabelle, you're a cowman. You've got to stick with the other self-respecting ranchers and help the nesters out. Well, I... We got company, Thunder. Let him rave. What? Who? <laughs> well, of all things, a lone ranger and Tonto. Well, welcome to the flying age. 
And how in tarnation are the two of you? Good, thanks, Clarabelle. How? Oh. Welcome, Miss Bright. I'm downright glad to see you. Where'd you leave your horses? In the corral on the other side of the house. Oh, good, good. I hope you ain't stay a spell. Oh, well, long enough to wash up and have a meal if you'll let us. If I let you, what sakes alive? Go on into the house and make yourselves at home. I'll, I'll show you where the water's at. You yeah. stay here. you got work to do. But we got company. Also, we got a stack of wood. And there's the axe to turn it into kindling. Oh, we'll be inside. Come along, Donna. Ah. Now you get to work, Thunder. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey, Clarabelle, look where I'm a-looking. We got more company. Hmm. I'm Kent and Lim Burton. And with one guess, I can tell you why they're coming here. So can I. They feel the same as you do about the nesters. The same as every cattleman. Oh, oh, oh. Hello there, Kent. How are you, Barton? Hey, folks, you get around. This isn't a social call, Miss Hornblow. We came to tell you to get rid of that nester that settled next to your range. We told you before, Clarabelle, to get rid of him. This time we're here to tell you to get rid of a cattle thief. Who are you calling a cattle thief? That nester you let settle. Josh Simmons. Cattle thief, my eye. My line fence was cut and some of my prize stock moved away. Why don't you look around that little Simmons farm before you throw out wild accusations? Why, Simmons couldn't hide a gopher. Now, where do you think he'd hide a lot of rustled cattle? There's lots of hiding places in the hills around here. Look here. Look on that post, Ken. It's a handbill. Helen of the Simmering Kid. Now, likely he's the one who stole your cattle. Yes, whatever happens around here will be blamed on the Cimarron kid. But Simmons is the one I suspect. Things happen every time a nester is allowed to settle in a place. This is the last warning, Miss Hornblow. You make that nester clear out. What if I don't? All the ranches are on my side. We're holding you responsible for anything that happens now. If one more longhorn disappears, we're driving out both you and Simmons. What? Come on, man. Uh, yeah. If any of them chuckheads got notions of driving you off in the flying age, they'll have to deal with me. And I'm a hard man to move. Mighty hard to move, Thunder. I'll vouch for that. Now get to that wood chopping. Oh, no. And when it's done, there's Simmons' post to be drove. Now hurry up, because Simmons is waiting. Hey! The Lone Ranger and Tonto went into the house. What of it? Why, Simmons will jump clear out of his boots when he sees a mass man. Oh, they're probably acquainted by this time. I'll go in and make sure. Both Thunder Martin and Clarabelle had talked at length about their friends, the Lone Ranger and Tonto. So Joshua Simmons knew who they were as soon as the masked man and the Indian entered the house. He introduced himself. And by the time Clarabelle came in, Simmons had told about settling on homestead land. I'll just leave the back door open so I'll know if Thunder stops his wood cutting. Now, have you gents got acquainted? <laughs> yes, Clarabelle. Uh, Miss Hornblow, we heard what went on outside. Oh, you mean Kent and Barton? Yes. They sounded as if they meant business. Yep, no doubt of that. Would uh, would they really drive you off in your own land? I reckon so, if there's any more cattle stealing. Yeah, but the At law Joshua, says... Joshua, there may be a smidge of law in the towns and villages, but it don't spread far. In ranching country like this, men have to make their own laws. Well, I, I'd rather leave than to get you into trouble, Miss Hornblow. Simmons, the range is being broken up into farmland. The government owns the property. And the government gave you permission to settle on it. In time, you will own it. If you got the courage to stay. Well, the cattlemen are dead set against homesteaders. The cattlemen must change. Ain't no doggone well you're not a cattle thief. They're just using that as an excuse to drive you out. If we could just find the critter who stole Tom Kent's cattle... I think I know who he is. Wh- who? You've seen handbills on him. He's called the Cimarron Kid. Say, is he near here? He's not far away. I don't know. I've been following his trail for a long time. There's your answer. Like I said, it's the Cimarron Kid's gang that stole Tom's cattle. Plenty hiding place near here. The hills to the north are honeycombed with canyons and pockets. A lot of cattle could be hidden there. If you could trail the kid's gang, it why... It isn't hard to trail him. Plenty lawmen trail Cimarron Kid. Then why can't they get him? Because he keeps lookouts posted. If a small group gets close, he sets an ambush. Him kill plenty lawmen. Dirty dry gulcher. If he sees a large posse coming, he splits his gang. 
The crooks fan out in all directions. Well, uh, couldn't the law run down some of the gang? Some have been captured, Joshua. But the kid has always gotten away. Dead rather, right he's got to be trapped. Now more than ever, Clarabelle. We can get a lot of help for you. Uh, and I'll help. Thunder can line up the cow hands from the other ranches. No, Clarabelle. I can handle the gun. I am going alone. Alone? Yes. Many people who see my mask think I'm an outlaw. The kid might make the same mistake. I want to borrow as much of your cattle as I can drive into the hills. You aim to pose as a rustler? <laughs> In a small way. If I can join the Cimarron kid... I'll try to lead him into a trap. Uh, but if the kid doesn't mistake you for an outlaw, you'll be killed. Life in the West is filled with danger. It's our job to make the country safe for future generations. You're sure doing your job. That's all I got to say. You take all the cattle you need. Uh, King Masabi. Yes? Maybe better me go, too. Me help follow the trail. I can follow the trail alone, Toto. You'd better stay here. You and lots of other men will be needed to meet the Cimarron kid and his gang when they come. Wait, I don't hear no chopping. I gotta go tell Thunder to stop resting. Please ask him to come in, Clarabelle. I'll outline my plan. The Lone Ranger outlined a plan. Then Thunder Martin and the Nestor rode away to enlist a few friends to fight the outlaw gang. Tonto helped the masked man cut on a number of the Flying H Longhorns. The Indian returned to the house after the masked man was started with the borrowed cattle toward the hill. <laughs> it was slow work following the trail of the Cimarron kid and his gang, and it took until dusk for the Lone Ranger to reach the foothills. He camped for the night and proceeded after daybreak the following morning. After several hours of driving the cattle higher and higher into the mountains, he was suddenly stopped by two men who stepped from behind a rock. Hold it, mister. Oh, hold it, boy. Hold it. Well, hold rifles on you. Keep your hands in sight. Get off that horse. I'm glad to meet the Cimarron kid in person. He's How do you oh. know I'm the Cimarron kid? You're well known. You know me, but I don't know you. Take off that mask. If you're someone I know, we'll talk. But if you're a stranger, Joe's gun will do the talking. I don't like strangers. Even if I remove the mask, you won't recognize me as anyone you know. A stranger, then, huh? Yeah. You heard what the Cimarron kid said. You don't like strangers. That goes for me and all the rest of the gang. You want the bullet in front or back? <laughs> you shoot me, you'll never know why I came looking for you. Why were you looking for me? Because I have some information you can use. Notice the brand on the cattle I brought with me. Ah, Flying H. I brought all I could handle without help. I know of a situation that makes it possible for me to move the entire herd uh, without danger to myself. Yeah? Tell me more. I thought you might like to team up with me. Maybe so. 50-50 on the Flying H cattle? All right. Now tell me how that cattle can be moved without risk. First, I want your word that I may keep my mask on. <laughs> Afraid to show your face? I don't know the men in your gang. I may have tangled with one or more of them. If they recognize me, they might shoot me in the back. You think you can take my word for anything? Yes. Even though the lawmen hate you, they all say that you'll keep a promise. <laughs> You hear that, Joe? The lawmen say I can be trusted. Nice. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, mister. You can keep the mask for all of me. Now, how can we move that flying H cattle? Well, uh, here's the situation. You and your gang stole cattle from Tom Kent. <laughs> I'm not admitting that. I didn't expect you to admit it. Kent and the other ranchers think a nester named Joshua Simmons rustled the stock. <laughs> That's good. The ranchers are mad at Simmons, and they're mad at Clarabelle Hornblow, who is backing Simmons. They threaten to drive Clarabelle and the nester out of this region. That's interesting. Well, what's it got to do with us taking Hornblow livestock? The livestock isn't guarded. All of Miss Hornblow's men, as well as Joshua Simmons... At the Flying H Ranch House to meet the ranchers who might come to drive them away. Are uh, Kent and the other ranchers going to attack the Flying H? They threatened to. Uh, they'd be sure to if they lost more critters. 
and had reason to suspect the master. <laughs> I'm working on an idea. We'll take the masked man to the hideout while I think it over. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. The Lone Ranger went with the Cimarron Kid to the canyon hideout, where he saw the rest of the gang and the cattle that was stolen from Tom Kent. He was allowed to keep his mask and guns, but carefully watched so he couldn't leave the camp. He saw the Cimarron Kid give whispered instructions to two men who rode away. Hurry back! Uh, Where did you send those men? I wanted you to know I wouldn't have whispered to them. I was to be in on it when you went after the Flying H cattle. You'll be in on it if I go after that stock. If? (laughs) Maybe I don't want it. Maybe I got bigger plans. The Lone Ranger could learn nothing further. He remained in the camp and wondered about the kids' new plans. Meanwhile, a crowd had been assembled in Clarabelle Hornblow's house. The Nestor and his daughter were there, and all the Flying H ranch hands. Also, Thunder Martin and the sheriff from the nearby town. It was the lawman who spoke. Cimarron Kid is mighty smart. He won't ride into any trap. Sheriff is a smart man. Who set the trap? Yep, I'm a smart engine who's watching. Uh, where's the engine now? You know Thunder? Why, he's north of the ranch. The kids' gang heads for Clarabelle's Longhorns. Tonto will let us know what part of the range they're aiming at. Then we can ride out and cut them off. Well, there's nothing to lose by waiting here. It'll be a great thing if we do get the Cimarron Kid. We've got to. If that coyote steals any more cattle, the ranchers will blame poor Joshua, and they'll be here with guns ablazing. Uh, Miss Hornblow, it's not fair that you should suffer oh, for me. Oh, forget because... that, Joshua. We're both in this to the finish. Say, by the way, did you leave anyone to watch your plates? No. Who could I leave there? Well, I reckon it don't matter. There's no reason for anyone to bother your place. Clarabelle was wrong. Two of the Cimarron kids' gang had gone to the home of the nester unobserved and stolen a heavy wire-cutting tool. Get him. From there, they went to the fence that enclosed Lem Barton's ranch. Well, we cut the fence, Jake. Yeah, this is as good a place as any. Oh, sit it down, boy. I'll make a break right here. A line rider will find it inside and out. That does it. Good. So it's to cut a tool on the ground. Let's clear out. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get The Lone Ranger was with the Cimarron Kid when Joe and Jake returned to the mountain hideout. Who? 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 Who are they? Who? Well, boys, how'd you make out? First rate. Everything's taken care of, kid. Have any trouble at the Nestor's house? No. No one was near the place. Uh, why did you send these men to Simmons' house? To steal something with the Nestor's name on it. What'd you find, Joe? Wire cutters. They were an eastern make. They had the name Simmons painted on the handle. Oh, I couldn't be better. Yeah, we cut Lem Barton's line fence and left the wire cutters on the ground. Yeah. We spotted a line rider not too far away. He's found the break by this time. Why did you do that? (laughs) 
<laughs> You'll have to admit my plan's a good one, mister. You see, Barton will have evidence that Simmons cut his fence. He won't wait to see if any cattle's gone. He'll get the other ranchers and they'll attack, just as they threaten. Why, oh, I see. They'll take their men along with them. <laughs> That'll mean that the big Barton herd and what's left of the Kent herd and all the other longhorns in the vicinity will be left without men to watch. Oh. <laughs> now, we'll make the biggest cleanup you ever heard of. By now, those ranchers should be ready for the attack on the hornblower outfit. Tell the boys over yonder to saddle and get ready to ride. Hey, boys, get set for travel. Got a big job on hand. Uh, see here, kid. This is different than we agreed. This is my plan, mister, but you'll travel with us. I'm not taking part in a raid on Barton's herd. Oh, yes, you are. I'm giving the orders around here. Not to me. Oh, no, well, I'll... No! No! I'll get you for that. I hear another. Take him. Can't do that to the kid. Get him. Boys, come here fast. I got you. With the kid down from a sledgehammer blow and Jake and Joe disabled by fast shots, the Lone Ranger had a scant few seconds to race to Silver and leap to the saddle. He cut quickly around the bend in the canyon before the rest of the gang could come close enough for accurate shooting. Now we're safe, boy. At sunset, Clarabelle and the others in her house were beginning to wonder if something had gone wrong with the masked man's plan. Finally, Thunder Marcus said, I can't sit still no longer. I'll go down front and see if there's any sign of talk. Guess the plan wasn't as good as we thought. If I was dead sure the kid's gang would be heading for my critters by this time. Well, maybe your masked friend couldn't find the kid. I don't know. I get. What is it, Thunder? Thunder's coming. What? He's riding my pile. I'll go on front to meet him. Yeah, we'll all go. Hey, look at him ride. Did you ever see anyone travel faster than that? Say, look what's coming over the hill. Yeah. Horsemen. Great day. There must be 20, 30 of them. If that's the kids' gang, we got no chance. But they're heading right here instead of my range. Oh, no hope of that. You say, Tonto, who you coming? Outlaws not come. Ranch has come this way fast. Why them come here? Hey, that's Tom Kent, the lead. And Lem Barton. Yeah, they said they'd drive us out. The small group in front of the ranch house watched with wonderment as the ranchers and their cow hands rode close to the house and drew rain. Oh, 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 oh. Kent! What are you two doing here? Hey, listen, Esther. We hey. warned you, Clarabelle. Now, hold on, gents. I'm the law around here. I... You're the law, Sheriff. That's right. And you better get Clarabelle and that Nestor out of these parts before you have a lynching on your hands. Now, hold on there, Bart. You're talking about my boss, Clarabelle. My line fence was cut by that Nestor, and I got proof. Take a look at this wire cutter. No, no. I didn't do it. Simmons, this cutter has your name on it. <laughs> it's mine. But it was at my house, and That's I... That's a lie. It was on the ground where my line fence had been cut. Sure. I suppose you figured on running off more cattle as soon as it got dark. I've given you just 30 minutes to pack your stuff in a wagon and clear out. And, Clarabelle, that same goes for you. You'll get me away from here for shooting, but no other way. Uh, how about that, boys? I said, now, Ken, now, Ken, Sheriff, you keep out of this. You can run the law in town, but we'll handle it here. Under Jim, Jack, all the rest of you. Get inside the house. If these men want a gunfight, they're going to get it. This is your last chance, Clarabelle. You can't fight all us off, and you know it. Send that Nestor away. Kent, I'm holding a shotgun, and it's loaded heavy. When one man draws a gun, I let her rip. Hey, look. Here come masked friend. Hold everything. Wait a minute. Here comes a man who can maybe help us out. The ranchers watched while the masked man raced close and drew rain. Oh, easy. Oh, Lone Ranger quickly grasped the situation. You man, all of you, listen to me. The Nestor was trained by the Cimarron kid. A wire cutter was left near a cut fence. So you'd all come here. I don't believe it. What kind of a trick is this? It's a Cimarron kid's trick. While you're here, he and his gang are planning to make off with all your cattle. Follow me, and you can corral the whole gang. Uh, what about you? What about that mask? How do we know you're no crook? The mask man, a crook? Why, well, don't be a jughead, Tom Kent. He's the Lone Ranger. Uh, you want to get the Cimarron kid? Follow me. Come on, come on. The 
Cimarron Kid and his gang had struck first at Lem Barton's ranch. They had met no resistance. They herded the nearest Longhorns and drove the cattle through a new cut in the line fence. They were driving in the direction of Tom Kent's ranch to add to the herd when the kid saw a solitary horseman coming over the hill on his right. It was a familiar figure wearing a mask. There he is, boys! An instant later, a dozen hard-riding men appeared on the ridge following the Lone Ranger. Ranger, cut to the left! Get him, get him. Before the gang could turn to flee, another group of horsemen came charging from the left. Hold on, hold on! We gotta shoot it out! Trapped between two factions, with the way ahead cut off by stolen cattle, the outlaws had no choice. Though greatly outnumbered, they had to fight. Suddenly, in the midst of the battle, the Cimarron kid broke free and spurred his horse cruelly in a desperate dash to escape. Get him! Get him! The Lone Ranger saw him and started in pursuit. The Cimarron kid had a lead of 20 yards, and two shots remained in his gun. He fired at the pursuing masked man who crouched low in the saddle. Both shots missed the mark. The kid jammed his empty gun into the holster and gave all his attention Get to the effort of urging more speed from his strong horse. Get him up. Silver cut down the distance quickly. The Lone Ranger pulled alongside, reached out, and then threw himself at the long hunted outlaw. I want you! You won't get me alive! Both men hit the ground and rolled, but the Lone Ranger retained his grip on the Cimarron kid. You tricked me! I'll kill you for that! No, you won't! No. And here's another! No. Get up if you want some more! Uh, what did you hit me with? A fist! What did it feel like? Now, come on, kid. I'm tying your hands and taking you back to the law. By the time the Lone Ranger rejoined the others with his prisoner, the rest of the outlaws had been captured and tied by the sheriff and the ranchers. The masked man spoke to Kent and Barton. Are you men satisfied that Joshua Simmons had nothing to do with the theft of your cattle? Yes, he's in the clear as far as I'm concerned. I can be man enough to admit I was wrong. You coyotes owe Josh an apology. The least you can do after all those charges you made is to let the man live here in peace. Well, I reckon it's all right, Clarabelle. Yes, you can stay, Simmons. You can stay and we won't bother you. Kent, if you and your men will follow me, I'll show you where the Longhorns are. You know? Yes, I saw the whole herd. Well, come on, boys. Let's follow him and get back our Longhorns. Uh, come on, come on. Well, kid, it's time for me to move you and your pals to jail. Oh, we, we'll go along and help you watch him, Chef. If I hadn't been fooled into thinking that masked man was an outlaw... <laughs> Kid, you're not as smart as you're cracked up to be if you thought that about the masked man. Why, he's the Lone Ranger. Feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Enterprises, and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's drama was written by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Uh-huh.